Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Today I wanted to give y'all a little video on some ways that I'm trying to live more sustainably in 2019. Last semester I took a class on Christianity and Ecology and I'm continuing that with some more of my classes this semester and I've really started to, I mean I've always cared about the environment, but now I've learned a bit more about what we can be doing and more ways to live sustainably and I'm feeling a little bit more of a call towards that this year and I think a lot of people actually are. So I've kind of compiled a list of ways that I'm trying to do it. These are all just very minimal things that I'm doing. Well, some are minimal, some are bigger, but I wanted to share what I'm doing. That way, if you're looking for any sort of inspiration on like any lifestyle changes that you might possibly be looking into, you know, you can get a little inspiration from me. Not all of these would be feasible for everybody as I know there are different people in like different ability levels and economic situations that of course impact how much they're really able to do different things. But this is just a list of about six different things that I am doing in 2019 to be a little bit more sustainable. So I'm just gonna get started. The first thing is a little one that I definitely should have been doing a long time ago and that's using reusable bags. That's one of the shifts I've been trying to make as an adult because I truly didn't realize how many plastic bags I was using until about this last year when part of my school's initiative to go a little bit greener was we brought in all of our plastic bags and got reusable ones from Trader Joe's for free just for exchanging in the plastic bags. It's like, wow, I use so many. So I'm trying to make that shift and already, even after just a couple of grocery trips, I've been feeling a lot better about the impact I have on the environment, you know, about going back into my car where I have the reusable bags and making sure I get them before going in as opposed to just saying oh it's just a plastic bag who cares like there are a lot of reasons to care. My main one for 2019 was to be a little bit more a lot more sustainable in my clothing habits and in my shopping habits so as you know you know that I'm a person who really enjoys fashion and clothing and getting to express myself in that way but I realized how how unsustainable the fast fashion industry is. So one of my ways that I've been looking into still being able to indulge my passion for fashion while also making sure I maintain my ethical commitment to the environment is through thrifting and buying secondhand. I've found this probably to be one of the most fulfilling things because one, it's also a lot cheaper than even fast fashion. Like I've been able to go to thrift stores and find things that are cheaper than Forever 21. Like I have this belt that I got and it was a dollar and it's like the greatest. I found so many of my favorite things and jeans I'm wearing right now are thrifted. I own a lot of different things like that and so that's something that I really want to do more in 2019 because every piece has a story and you're also able to find like so much more unique and funky pieces when you go to a thrift store. The only thing that I'm having trouble with figuring out a good sustainable way to kind of you know make sure I have it in my collection is through like underwear and like active wear because those are things that I definitely don't want to be buying secondhand because I don't want somebody else's like sweat all over me I feel like even even though you wash it there's certain things that I can't that I personally am not willing to do so I'm currently looking into sustainable brands for underwear and active wear and if you would want like a video review on like the next thing I try in that regard as far as sustainable clothing goes, so please let me know because I do want to like be able to promote that a little bit more on my channel. But I also often don't want to as much because it's a little bit more expensive. But I do want to show you all what options are out there and if anything, you know, comes up that's good that might work. So let me know. Along that same line, makeup wise, I am on a year long low buy, not a no buy, a low buy. So I've allowed myself to only buy two items of makeup per month and it does roll over into the next one and I might extend it to five items during my birthday month just so that I can, you know, maybe indulge myself a little bit more but only buying two items per month plus I'm doing a subscription service because I was originally going to do three items until I signed up for the beauty subscription service because I wanted something that would make me be a little bit more creative, you know, like someone else picking out the colors and me 
trying to, you know, figure out a cool way to put it on my face. So I've been doing that. I've also been decluttering and shopping my stash. I've also been decluttering when it comes to my clothes. I was cleaning a lot today and I've realized how much stuff I have that I forgot that I owned and love. So it's been a really good experience kind of rediscovering a lot of things in my collection that I love and you know I feel like I have a lot that I don't give enough love and once you kind of realize that yeah the new makeup releases can be exciting but I also feel like I have a lot of color that I can have some fun with. I'm also making the shift to cooking at home more. I've cut back on my meal plan for the semester. I'm also trying to not order as much like takeout and pizza and things like that. I'm trying to eat healthier in general this year. That was one of my goals and cooking at home more helps me to do that a bit more. So I am already vegetarian and I do cook a lot of completely animal product free meals, but with some of my health stuff, I can't go completely vegan yet. So I'm really excited. I've been loving that I've been able to cook more at home because instead of, you know, taking something that's like pre-packaged or like takeout when I need to have a lunch to go to class, I really love bringing something from home, like a stir fry that I've made, you know, like some beans and rice or just anything like that and I found that really rewarding. It takes up a lot of my spoons, I do admit, so I don't do it all the time. I still order takeout sometimes. I still go to like my school's dining hall because everybody has those days where you just really don't want to cook. I've been feeling a bit better about the amount of waste and like food waste and packaging waste and using less plastic from cooking at home rather than ordering takeout. I'm also trying some products with less packaging. So Lush has recently come out with like a lot of their naked line. I'm hoping in the near future to do a little bit more of an in-depth review of some of those products so that I can share it with y'all. And I found it really exciting. I went into Lush actually yesterday and bought a bunch of stuff. So I'm officially trying one of their shampoo bars and just putting it in a little tin as opposed to, you know, getting shampoo with like the huge packaging. And I got one of their naked skincare bars. This was largely something I decided to do on a whim just because it sounded good. And also a lot of their naked products products are cheaper than their like fully packaged products. So I really wanted to give that a shot. Like I don't think everything's going to work, you know, but there's a lot of things that I can try and I want to find as much that I can use and reuse and make sure I'm not contributing as much plastic into the world. And finally, the last thing that I'm trying to do to live more sustainably in 2019 is I'm trying to walk a bit more often. Now, again, with some of my like chronic pain stuff, I'm not always able to walk as many places as I want to, especially in the winter months when it's snowy, because not only am I like in pain, but I also have a tendency to fall very easily in the ice and the snow. So I don't do it all the time, but like I'm a dog walker and when I go to walk Max, the sweet collie that I walk who lives like just up the road, I do try and just like go ahead and walk there anyway because I figure, well, if I'm going to be walking him, you know, for like 20 minutes, what is an extra five or 10? It's like the same amount of time to drive, if not quicker than driving. So I found that really helpful. And I've also been noticing like my step counts, like it just feels really good when you look at like the health app on your iPhone and you're just like, huh, I did get almost 10,000 steps today. Yeah, little things. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed me talking a little bit about the sustainable things that I'm trying to do in 2019. Like I said, this isn't trying to be like holier than thou video or anything like that. I just wanted to share some of the things that I'm doing if you if you want any inspiration for more sustainable living, if you wanna just try and incorporate one or two little things, these are just some small things that I think I'm trying to do. And if you have any inspiration or ideas for ways of sustainable living, please let me know down below. I really want to know more things, even though like it's a lot to incorporate all at once. I always want to know what people are up to. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos from me. And I'll see you on my next one. Hope you'll have a wonderful day. Bye.